What's going on everybody? My name is Salsit from deepdatainvesting.com and today we'll be talking about earnings yield. Now, I know it's been a while since I last uploaded my last video, which was on price to earnings ratio and a lot has happened over these past few weeks. I mean, we have Dogecoin, Bitcoin, GameStop, all types of Robinhood lawsuits and of course all the other Reddit stonks. As we all know, stonks only go up. Now, there's a few things that we can take away from this, but one important thing is just knowing how to evaluate a stock. That being uh, by its fundamental or social influences or other market influences. So today we'll be talking about earnings yield. Now, earnings yield is the exact reciprocal of price to earnings. If you haven't checked that video out, price to earnings ratio, make sure to check that video out. I'll link it up in the cards above or in the comments down below. I talk about all the benefits and drawbacks of using this ratio as a metric. So since earnings yield is the exact reciprocal of it, sometimes it's referred as the EP ratio. Now, that being said, the way to calculate earnings yield is to divide the earnings per share divided by the current stock price. Now, when you calculate earnings yield, you get a percentage. Now, this percentage represents how much money a company is bringing in relative to its current stock price. Now, this might seem a little confusing at first, but let's go over an example. So if we have company X, which its current stock price is at $100 and its earnings per share is at $5, we can calculate the price to earnings ratio. Now, this is calculated by dividing $100 divided by the $5 of earnings per share. Now, this will give you a 20x multiple. So really quick, what this means, this multiple means is that the investor is willing to pay $20 to receive back $1 of earnings of the company. To calculate the earnings yield, all you have to do is the opposite calculation, which is divide the earnings per share by the current stock price. In this case, it's $5 divided by $100 of the current stock price. That gives you 5%. This essentially is the rate of return on investment for a company's earnings relative to the current stock price. Now, the earnings yield is not nearly as widely used as the price to earnings ratio, but it does offer a different perspective on your investment in terms of looking at the investment uh, in percentages. Earnings yield can help guide direction to determine whether a company is starting to look overvalued or undervalued. So one way to utilize this is if you've been keeping track of the earnings yield for several different accounting periods and you start seeing that the stock price is currently flat, however, the earnings per share is starting to increase, well, this means that the earnings yield is starting to increase as well, which may mean or indicate that the stock is currently undervalued which is a good thing. Now the opposite can also happen where the stock price is starting to increase while the earnings per share is just remaining flat. This means that the current earnings yield is decreasing, which may mean or indicate that the stock is overvalued. Now, of course, there are different approaches and better methods to determine a stock's valuation, which we'll cover in future videos. So just make sure to subscribe. But of course, earnings yield is one of them. And that's it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and check out the other videos where we cover price to earnings ratio, earnings uh, per share, and all sorts of metrics and different tools that you need as an investor. Hit that subscribe button, comment down below. If you have any questions that we can answer you, go ahead and check out our uh, Twitter, our Instagram, where you can message us for any questions that you have we'll try to uh, answer you as quick as possible again go to deepdatainvesting.com go ahead and subscribe there where we offer different newsletters and different articles that you may need in the future all right and we'll see you guys on the next one